I'm going to give scalping a break for a little bit, and I'd like to go back to looking for that whole ICT silver bullet setup trade that happens between 10 and 11. I really liked doing that several months ago, and for whatever reason, we got away from it. Today was the first day waiting for that setup, and everything went absolutely perfectly. So I like to document that process for my future self and for others who are interested. Thanks for watching and catch you guys later. Higher time. I I'm expecting higher prices, first of all. We'll just throw it out there. But back here on the higher time frame, we grabbed liquidity and displaced back up. And then we had some of that going on in the early morning session. So that's what I'm thinking is going to go. But we still got uh, the high of CPI back here at 873. So obviously where we're at was a draw on liquidity, but that would be the next draw if we're going to keep moving higher. And then obvious, I mean, you can, you guys can see that you guys can see the swing highs. I don't got to point them out, right? Took out that high. I'm going to, I'm waiting until 10 to take manual trades. So we'll just watch this down here. So we could come down to, got a 15 minute here. We've got all these lows and then more displacement here. So we'll see where, if the market comes down to any of these, see if we get a reaction to go back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm attempting to just wait till 10 for my manual trade and get back to what we were doing a few months ago. And looking back on the one minute, like some of the some of the price action is still sloppy, but at 10, had I been waiting until I mean we we've been trying to scalp, but uh 10 is here, so maybe I would have recognized this. But surely this move was then taking out a swing, still inside of this guy, then it rips up. So we're going to wait till 10, try and catch a liquidity grab. It's basically waiting for a reversal after the... No, not necessarily a reversal, because sometimes we're just chopping for the first 30, 45 minutes, and then it's like the actual move happens later. We're trying to wait, wait for that. So at 10, we'll start looking for a setup I want I need to this is what I need to do to do differently than what I've when I've done this in the past is I used to just take my one shot and then if it didn't work it didn't work and then that's it this time if it uh I need to be able to recognize I'm about to be wrong and that looks like if I shorted this and I'm still holding it if we made lower lows here and then we displace back up well that we were just taking out liquidity before we're turning around and going after the highs i need to recognize that get out and and reverse basically I wasn't willing to do that before but i'll do it this time or we'll try to on the 15 minute look at this it's pretty clear we just swept the lows displace back up close back above that high or that low sorry and now we're going to go after at least this high, potentially that high, then maybe to all time highs. That's what I'm thinking. At the same time, I'm not going to let that prevent me from taking a short if there's a valid short. If this holds, uh, I mean, we're getting pretty close to 10. So far, everything's still lining up. This is uh, showing a willingness to hold. So I think we can be, assuming it stays held, we can be more confident if we get another um, setup here in a few minutes, or at least after 10. I used to always think I needed to be first in these moves as well. Um, but then when I go back and look at all the moves, there are plenty of opportunities that we could have got in. So I need to be, I need to be confident. 
obviously uh we could have been in this <laughs> but we'll see it make displacement and come we'll see if it comes back down into here i want to see it come back into this one at the same time it might not that that could be its only chance we should have taken this back here i was thinking it was a pretty low risk just having to stop at either that guy or this guy yeah i should have done that when i i was trying to be very strict with waiting until 10 that was at 957 i mean i think I, i'm expecting higher prices than this so even if i were to get in now there's still points to be had it just feels wrong yeah, we'll wait for some red candles like that. All right. It's not a huge pullback, but like I said, with everything else I was reading and then this holding with a reaction and then another setup forming, I think uh I think it's a decent enough entry. And we're just getting back into this. We haven't traded like this in a while. 872 is my target. I doubt I'm uh if we if if this works in our favor, I doubt I'll hold it to that. See, I was getting all worried about this candle. But market came down and we've got a wick down here. So what I need to be mindful of is on the short term, we did just take out this high. So I could be wrong. And I'm not wrong. The market could just go lower instead of going higher. And if it does, it should show us it's going to do that. And instead of just holding it and being stubborn, I can just get out and try to ride the other direction. But this isn't really a, it's technically, it is a technically a fair value gap, but it's not breaking any swings. It was just going back to reprice this fair value gap, right? Debating on adding one and then taking one off here. And then we'll take one off. If it goes higher, we'll take one off here and then maybe try to let one ride a little further. It's just two micros. Four dollars a point. This week has been rough, but I'm trying to go back to my just trying to look for that silver bullet trade. So I was pretty good at calling that out and picking it, and then I stopped doing it, went back to scalping, and then I stopped sticking to my plan with scalping because I'm focusing too much on money. So just learning, learning lessons this week. I'm gonna take one off at. If it goes up to this high, we'll take one off and then maybe move into break even, right? That's what we should do, at least secure something. And then we'll see if we can, if it does want to ride up to 872. Bot's about to take a winning trade. Yeah, I should have freaking taken this guy, but I was trying to be strict with waiting until 10. I didn't want to start doing this again and then break rules right away. But this was at 957 and this wasn't. This so wasn't hindsight. I drew this out back when we were here. I would like to take this off making new highs. Are you, are you serious? Everything has been more, everything has been going exactly what we called out. <laughs> and then it's going to do this. It didn't make new highs, so there's no reason for it to turn around. I know uh, NASDAQ doesn't need a reason to do anything. But, I mean, everything is just working out too perfectly, so. Oh, come on, Alito. Yeah, is it just going back to, like, take out lows, maybe? What are you talking about falling like a knife? What is that? We're going we're gonna to be all right. Well, when this formed, I said, we'll see if another one forms after 10. It did. It was respected. We did not take out this high, so. I feel pretty good in this still so far. And if not, then so be it. We waited until 10. 
we marked out areas of interest and I made the uh, best decisions I thought at the time. The bot is like on a hundred percent win rate this morning. And in my back testing, when it's on a, uh, a win streak like that, it just keeps going for the whole time it's in that session. So this is the day I need to just crank it up. But you know, as soon as I were to tr change the contract size, it will start taking losses. Get one out at the highs. Or it could just freaking rip. So maybe we, uh, I think this was a silver bullet. It's formed right at 959 and then at 10 offered the entry. There we go. All right, we'll take one off and then put a stop right there. So now we just secured a green day. First day back on the silver bullet train. We still got this, guys. Uh, so now this is what I want. 872, which is the start of, which was that high that CPI made. Thank you, 100 lot. I appreciate it. Now we just got to keep doing it every day. And my biggest thing is accepting when I'm wrong. What a relief. I, uh, last couple of days have been pretty tough. I'm sure you guys have noticed. I was not really looking forward to trading yesterday. But maybe I need to go back to what I was, like I said, I thought I was pretty good at calling these moves and I, I stopped because I just couldn't handle when I was wrong. We've got one, two, almost three fair value gaps. I'm going to move this up. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Kind of sucks. We were just on micros today, but trading the 25k account, I'm not not risking anymore so as soon as we if we were to make new highs right here i'll move it up to this swing that's uh that's close enough right go ahead and lock in another now we'll lock in 30 points right 20 30 yeah so lock in 30 points on this now i still i mean i would like to just remove this stop completely but i need to i need to keep securing greens is that a win yeah i think that took a win right and we're out of our trade that didn't cancel that's annoying so we gave up like, what, 20 points from the high. I think that's worth it. I think we managed that trade perfectly. So that trade was 34. So two contracts for $145 on an account that only allows you 1500 in drawdown, I think is a pretty goddamn good day. And like I said, I... I can't tell you guys how much I needed that. I have been uh, struggling a little bit. It's been tough the last couple of days in the way the markets have been. But if I just wait, they, there's still setups to be had. It's just I get I get I was getting caught up in the in the first thirty minutes for whatever reason. But we were having success with that five one five in December, and that's it. it that, it's hard to do <clears throat> and then i just got away from doing that completely so there's no hate on that strategy i still like it i just can't i'm not doing it on micros i need to trade that on minis so until i have an account that i could trade minis again we're gonna put that strategy off to the side and i'm gonna keep trying to do this because i do pretty good with that thank you everyone <clears throat>